There we are. Welcome back to the Lover Boys. You know, otherwise known as the Patriarchy Podcast. Or, oh look, it's just another podcast with two white guys. <laughs> uh, Cameron is commenting on all of the incredible internet trolls that think they're uh, so creative. Uh, they keep <laughs> saying, oh, not everybody who has mics needs to have a podcast. Or He's not wrong. It sounded like Mr. Mackey but, there for a second. From okay. Yep. Okay. You did. Not everybody uh, with with uh, microphones need a podcast. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Please stop filming in your basement. Okay. Yeah, pretty much uh, getting a lot of comments like that. And I think it's hilarious because uh, people on the internet these days, and I've been saying this for a few weeks now just because I've seen how many comments we've gotten on different things. Mm-hmm. People just love to try and ruin other people's days for no good reason. Like, what are we doing wrong? Technically speaking, what are we doing wrong? You're the one that watched the clip, you know? Regardless of how oh, stupid 100%. it is. Oh, 100%. You also, watched... all the clips are out of context. So like, yes, also that. Too. Which is the best part. Oh, yeah. So be mad about some it. Some people really probably think that we're like being genuinely serious on this yeah. podcast. I maybe twice have been Like, serious. do you guys really think that I don't talk to Uber drivers? I'm not a piece of shit. I'm not an asshole where I'm like, please stop talking to me. Oh, yeah. No, I've never It's all hypothetical. That. Like, yeah. If I won't, I won't engage them first. I might be like, "How's your day going?" I'm, I'll have small talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, if they're like, "No, I'll totally do that." You think Bush did 9/11? I'd be like, "Please, let's." <laughs> <laughs> Any other time, yes, I'd have this conversation. But you're yeah, taking yeah, me yeah. to the airport. Yeah, I, and, I, and I, I don't want to get prefer, too deep with you yeah, right now. I'd prefer to not talk about uh, bombs going to the airport. But like, but like, someone comment or somebody, somebody said something. I think it was actually Cody Co. made a comment in one of his videos about Uber drivers. Yeah, um, they're doing a job. 100% there. Like, I'm paying you to do a job for me. You yeah. Know? That's all. That's all. Because some girl, it was, he was watching a cringe video, and, like, this girl started singing in an Uber. Oh, And the my Uber driver God. was like, <laughs> like, can you please stop? Please get out. Yeah. Dude, so. I think it's, it's sort of that, too. And then I don't want to distract them while they're driving. No, I either. want you to focus on the road. Yes. Okay. Like, I want to feel safe in here. I'm not saying you can't have a conversation while you're driving. I want to feel I'm God not, in this I Uber I would tonight. never be. Yeah, I want to feel God in this Uber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And not after we've crashed. No. No, yeah, because I, I do the same thing. Like, it's courteous to be like, hey, like, because yeah. then they ask you, like, is this you? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. They're like, oh, you're going here? Yeah. And then yeah. if there's, like, small chit-chat or whatever, like, they, cool. You'll get in there like, where are you going today? And I'm like, oh, I'm heading to Dallas or Austin. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, let's have a conversation. But, <laughs> but anyway. Like, after that. I think we're. Speaking of Dallas. Well, yeah, that, that too. But real quick, this entire podcast is satire. Yeah, but that it goes back to like the deadpan, like yes. comedy that we got. Yeah. Like I'm very, like I, I, my delivery is very serious. Yes, because I'm just joking almost ninety nine. And then I'm over the, top. the time. And my over the top is me joking about it. Yeah, not actually pissed yeah. most of the time. There have been a handful of times mm-hmm. where I've really actually not agreed, but I think that's the beauty of it. And I think you the, don't know the difference between it. Yeah. And I think the reason my comedy is so deadpan is because you love curb. It's because no, it's because I have low T and I only drink Starbucks. There it is. Yeah, yeah, that was a great <laughs> TikTok comment. Uh, this one guy uh, literally went on and was like calling us wimps for not wanting to have conversations with Uber drivers. So I just kept <laughs> commenting so back, and I thought it was hilarious. So I kept sending him like kissy faces to make him feel really <laughs> uncomfortable, and I was oh, just man. like. Oh, poor little internet troll. And then you go to his bio and he's like, POV, you got mad at my comment. POV, POV, mad, your dude. content is lawnmower engines. Or the or the other guy. I'd rather huff paint than than oh, spend my another God. 30 seconds listening to this dumb fuck try to start, sound smart. It was incredible. Immaculate. Okay. Gentleman's name was Jarvis. <laughs> your Tony Stark's computer. I took zero offense after I saw the guy's name was yeah, Jarvis yeah, 100%. fucking Elmer's glue. Well, I think I think that's um, that was his last name, something like that, Elmer oh, something. No, it was not. You got docs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, IP address, <laughs> calculating. Uh, I use my NordVPN. Uh, Google, show me this guy's balls. <laughs> <laughs> show me this guy's balls. Show me this guy's exact location. Uh, but anyway, uh, Dallas. Dallas what, uh, was. It's where they had the uh, women's NCAA. Oh, is that where championship it was? game? Yeah. All right, cool. We um. Just got done watching the national championship game, actually. Great game. Last uh, quarter, maybe not so much. Yeah, no, it was really good. A lot for the of first, calls for LSU. First three or so, it was really good. 
Uh, we mostly watched it because Caitlin Clark, phenom. Baller. Absolute, Absolute phenom. baller. Like, she was tossing buckets up that NBA players couldn't do. I don't know much about her other than the fact that she's got the most points in NCAA. I'm assuming, win- I'm not assuming, but I think it's women's. It is women's. Uh, I, I NCAA tournament up, yeah. history. Regardless, she has the most points of like 100 and – she had 30 she had points, so she has, she had she has 210 now. Yeah, 210. Um, Just in this tournament. Not, not combined, this tournament. This tournament. Women's basketball deserves to be at the same caliber as men's, in my opinion. Not and because of, not because of this game, just in general. Like, it was a good, it was a good game. It like was a incredible really good to watch. Game. I it was, was incredible the whole time. Me too. And I think, and we'll just be fully transparent here. Uh, you know, we're recovering misogynists. I would say something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't. I do not agree with no, this. No, 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 no. I have never been misogynistic. Neither have I really. But there are like when you when you really. But when think, people take this out of context. Well, yeah, that too. But I'm saying like when you really think about your life, you kind of have to internally think like, do I have a stereotype or a prejudice towards something potentially? You yeah. know. So I think automatically, you know, because everybody makes fun of the WNBA and everything. And honestly, I do think the WNBA sucks. But you know what doesn't? Women's college basketball. No. Like, no. they're incredible. But why does, why, okay, I guess it's because of the if fact that col- it's a tournament. in general with basketball. Do you, do you think, do you think that we don't like women's basketball because, like, the NBA, like, I don't, the NBA season is just, like, also kind of, like, it's monotonous. There's a lot of games. Oh, but so then you get, games, But dude. then you get to the playoffs. playoffs. Do you think, do you think women's, obviously, it probably is just as good yeah. as men's. That's why I, the tournament for women's, like for NCAA women's, was so... I think that's probably fair, too, because I've never watched playoff WNBA games. I've watched a couple WNBA games during the regular season, mm-hmm. but even there are plenty of NBA games that are just like monotonous, like what you're saying during the regular season. Yeah. So I wouldn't doubt that the playoffs could be good, but I just haven't watched There, There were multiple games throughout the regular NBA season where I was like, Usually I'd watch this game, but I know this is like the middle of the season. This game basically means nothing. It doesn't matter, so, so no I one's really care. playing that yeah. hard. Probably it's it's towards the end where I really get invested, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is where we really separate the good from the bad. Yeah, that's that's when it gets interesting. But to your point, uh, so can we talk about how classless LSU was, though? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the full story because I, I I know I said that I did say that those yeah. words came out of my mouth. Oh no, he and said- also in a tweet. To Sports Center. Oh, you Cla- tweeted at Sports Cla- Center? Well, they like posted about they posted the Angel Reese like you can't see me thing, which I yeah. guess Caitlin Hold Clark John had, Cena. the the Kate. Well, yeah, but like Caitlin Clark had done it, I guess originally at some point. Well, I mean, John but Cena. she was also flashing to like the ring, you know. And I get that. Do they have a ring? Does Caitlin Clark have a ring? No, 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 no. The Iowa Hawkeyes have never won a national championship. Neither, oh. neither has LSU. Oh, so that was their so first yeah. Too? So I kind of get cool. it, but like. For me, I don't. I'm. I'm very low key. I told you this. Like, I. I don't like. Yeah. F- like flashiness, really. So the whole like, w- you know, the coach wearing all the crazy suits and like the players being like, ah, oh, ring. Blah, blah. Like, I get it. You're winning something that no other team has won for LSU. Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> and I get that it's the tournament. So like, there's a there's like a gray area where the flashy is kind of, it's it's almost like expected. But I like you look at the Iowa Hawkeye coach, and she's just like there in her black suit and blaze or blazer or whatever, trying to coach a team to the championship. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. I think, I think you should have some. You should be a little humble. I like humble players. I agree with that to a point. Mm-hmm. I think that there does get to a point with anything where if somebody is being too cocky, and then you're beating them. There is a level of, I'm going to shit on you a little bit. I'm going to let yeah. my game talk for sure, but I'm also going to shit on you a little bit. Well, yeah, but it's like, it's like I, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent when it comes to like the Golden State Warriors. Like I, yeah. I, I, I respect and appreciate Steph Curry and Clay Thompson's greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say Draymond Green, but, uh, you know. Nah, Draymond, Draymond Green's Draymond Green wasn't there, they wouldn't have won four championships. I don't Whatever. know about that. Um, Draymond is... One of the best. Steph players, will though. like kind of flip a switch where he's like playing and he's like putting up points, and all of a sudden it's like, here's the cocky asshole. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I wanted the Warriors to win, but now you do that, and I, it like turns me off. I don't like when people are doing that when they're up. I like when people are doing that when they're coming back. I like it. You well, know what I mean? 
Yes, but I also like it when the, like it has a place when the game is over. Yeah, and I guess that sort of negates what I said about Angel Reese doing the whole ring thing because she kind of did that at the end of the game. Yeah, I, I would you know I'm sure Kobe would have done the same stuff, but would he? Have? I don't know. I compare people to he. I compare too much. Very rarely did he. Mostly let his basketball. I think that's, that's he would talk shit, right? But it wasn't as I. I think that's the problem. Because then, but then there's them. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was the biggest trash talker all time. It did that type of shit constantly. Yeah, but his game spoke way different more. levels. Yeah, way more. You know. No, I get what you're saying. Um, like I, imagine you're, you're Charles Barkley or uh, who was the one guy that played for the Knicks, like Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing, and you're just like you're trying to beat this guy, and he just fucking shits on you every time. Every time. Every time. Um, I actually got this update on my phone right now. Uh, well, it was on my Apple Watch, but do you get the like um news update things at all? Like on my watch? Yeah. Not really. I just saw that the WWE is going to be potentially bought by the same enterprise that owns UFC. Like Dana White's company? Yeah. Dana White's company. Is more than mean? likely going to buy the WWE. So the Vince. McMahon, so all the wrestling is now real. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Imagine <laughs> they're actually getting their asses when kicked. They're th- out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're still getting beat up a lot of times. There's no script. It's just like you're gonna die. You're just actually gonna fight yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna kill each other. Yeah. Barbed wire's real. Mm-hmm. You're gonna bleed out right there. Like the diamond plated stairs, or like the di- what is that diamond plated? Oh yeah, where they pick that shit up, yeah. dude. In I'm sure 90s, that's really heavy as it is, but like time. now it's gonna be like lead line. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dana White's just front row the whole time. You just actually watch John Cena get his head completely smashed in, just decapitated, like on stage. Yeah. You ever see that? Do uh, you remember? It was like 2010 or 11 when like clowns were all the rage. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, because I'm thinking of this very yeah. specific. It was like clown horror, wait, like where. Wait. The, it was like a YouTube clip. Let me finish. <laughs> and they would like, it was like in Europe. Yo, you remember Europe. 2010 when clowns were all the rage? <laughs> what? Well, if you let me finish, it was in Europe, I think. <laughs> and these guys would like dress up as clowns and they'd have like bodies on the floor of like these like, you know, in the parks. Oh, you're saying, yeah, I know what you're talking and about. And they would smash the heads with like yes. cameras and it was like a fake head. Yes, and yes, all the yes, yes, yes. That's going to be John Cena's head. Oh or, like somebody's head. Oh my God. Head. Dude, that was the most <laughs> random, like, you were over here, and then you were I know, like, but that's what let, I was me, thinking let me go to this fringe thing from 2010. Do you guys remember this, like, video that was on the internet? It all, it all correlates, you know? It's like, the, it's like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Like, it all... Oh, dude, let's play that real It all quick, wraps actually. in. Try and, try and name someone, and let's see if we can get to Kevin Bacon. Just off the top oh, of your head. okay. We can't... What if we just try to, like, tie in two celebrities? What do you mean? Oh, I mean, we could do that, but I think Kevin Bacon is the is the one that's really okay. good to go with. But because we know a decent enough amount about movies that we could probably figure this have, out. Do, have you seen the movie Smile? Mm-mm. Have you heard of it? Yeah, that just recently came out. Dude. Yeah, the lead in that is his daughter. Oh, really? Didn't know. Did not wow. know. Nepo baby. Good old Nepo. We talked about um, that before. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. I feel like, in a way, everyone's connected to Kevin Bacon. That's the point of the game. Barack Obama. So, <laughs> you want me to come up with, like, should I, should I find one tie-in to, and then you have to find the next? Yeah. Bro, I don't fucking know. Do uh, it. Just, like, just, this will just show how stupid we are on the internet. Wait. So you have to go from Barack Obama to Kevin Bacon. D- has Barack Obama met um, Jordan Peele? Yeah, hundred percent. Jordan okay, Peele so, was at the White House. So one time. okay, so then Jordan Peele. Okay. And then Jordan Peele was he's directed movies that have. Um, well, did he direct Smile? No, no, no. Okay. No, but he directed Nope, which had, um, which had the dad. I don't know the guy's name, but the dad, not Nope, uh, Get Out, the white dad. White dad. He was. He's was in. He was definitely. See, I can't do this without like knowing their names. Like no, but he's, you're, he's been I, in movies with exactly Adam Sandler, and I know Adam Sandler has been in movies that are connected to Kevin Bacon in some way. What is what has Adam Sandler been in that's been connected to Kevin Bacon? Well, uh, Billy Madison, the guy that plays the dad, uh, the the dad in Get Out, the yes, surgeon. He's in Billy. He Madison. was in Billy Madison as like the right hand to Billy Madison's dad. Okay, and because they go they go up against each other, I think. In yeah, the, yeah, yeah. When they have yes. the school debate, yes. 
and that guy. What about Steve Buscemi? Could you connect Steve Buscemi? Oh yeah, I'm sure. The thing is, I don't Steve, know enough Kevin Bacon Steve movies. Is like, because Steve is in Billy Madison. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna assume there's a connection there, and we'll just leave it at that. I don't know. Can I use I my phone? We, uh, yeah, for sure. Use your phone. Okay. Because that, that's that's because that's kind of one of the things. Is that cheating? No. I have you have you ever seen the uh, thing where I just need to look up Kevin Bacon movies. Have you ever have you ever done the Wikipedia thing where it's like yeah. that's so much fun. Whoever can get there the fastest yeah. wins. And you, you guys- can only click on the link. So let me explain it real quick for everybody. Basically, you say like you're trying to connect two things. Similar to the Kevin Bacon thing where you start on Wikipedia, you start on a page. So let's say I want to connect France to mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Jordan. And you have to find a way from the France Wikipedia page to get the whole way to Michael Jordan's Wikipedia page. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. I have a good... Okay, I have a good one. Okay. So, okay. Because I just saw Crazy Stupid Love. So this is what I'm trying to tie to because Kevin Bacon's in that. Yeah. He's, uh, he's David Linhagen. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're David Linhocken? He <laughs> takes the rings off. And yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so. This is going to make a great clip because I can just see my the wheels turning in my head. Yeah. Where was I just at? Adam Sam. I don't freaking know. All we right, so we, so, we went, so we went Barack Obama. Barack Obama. To Kevin Bacon. Okay. Uh, to so Barack Obama. Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. To, to the white dad in Get Out. But we're going to we're gonna erase that guy. Okay. And now we're going to go. Frick. The 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 lead guy that was in Get Out and Nope, Daniel K- K- whatever his last name is, Kulia or Kulia oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um him. Okay. He was in I'm trying to tie this to Ryan Gosling, because if we can get to Ryan Gosling, we got Kevin Bacon. What about Black Mirror? Because you might be able to go to, from Black Mirror to I don't remember who was in that episode. I know what you're talking about though. Yeah. Because um, he he was in the A Million Merits or whatever. Yes. Am I stupid? Yeah, but you could technically just do it from that whole show, I feel like, right? Or does that not count? Does well, because then you could do, episode? like, John Hamm, and John Hamm was in... Mad Men. Mad Men, and then... Bradley what has Co- Kevin Bacon been in recently? Yeah, look it up. I, I want to know. Because oh. I feel like Kevin Bacon's been making a comeback. Has he been? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, people have been talking about him more recently the past few years. I mean, I could be... I, oh. You know what? It says that he was in Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't know so, so, what his role was. Oh, no. They kept referencing Kevin Bacon in Guardians of the <laughs> oh Galaxy. Oh, my God. So he's got, a, he's got a cast credit just because of that? Maybe. So, I'm, oh, well, then that's easy enough. We could probably... Dude, we could have said like a WWE wrestler. And Dave then, Batista. Yeah, we could have went like... Hulk Hogan oh, wait, 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 Bacon. wait, wait, okay, so if we're going this route, Dave Batista was in Guardians of the Galaxy, but he was also in Blade Runner 2049 with Ryan Gosling, and Ryan Gosling was in Crazy Stupid Love with Kevin Bacon. With Kevin Bacon, there you go. That but, was an easy one. But how, do, but how did we get there, really? Because we started with Barack Obama, so. Oh, no, I was just making some bullshit thing up about WWE. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I could be totally wrong about Kevin Bacon having a comeback, though, because honestly, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but. We don't know what the fuck we're talking about a lot of times, and that's kind Most of the times. point of the show, is uh, this is comedic satire. If anything, this show should be called Relatable with Cam and Zach, but that's already a podcast out there. Oh, it is? Yeah. I would have never known. Yeah. So we're just going to stick with the Patriarchy podcast. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> the Top G podcast? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, do you want to talk about that? Do you want to talk about it? I do. Him? He got released. Yeah, and I commented. Is it, isn't he on house arrest though? Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah, but I so the post came out. I don't remember who posted it. Probably hype beast. <laughs> Probably because <laughs> they're all top G's over there for sure. Top and G's. Dylan Dennis, this UFC boxer guy fighter, uh-huh. commented like, "Hell yeah, well deserved" or whatever. And I commented to him. I was like, "Oh, now you guys can cuddle." <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things that I see on the internet right now is people that are like defending him somewhere, and then. Somebody literally just comments underneath, and they go, "I would never meat ride this hard for anyone." No, no, the meat riding train. What is that? Yeah. A new? Me- I've never heard meat, meat ride versus dick before. ride. I've never heard that before until you never heard of a dick rider. No, that I've heard of, but like the meat riding, like 
that I just, phrase I just think it's funny. It's new to me. Because I, I think that there are some times where, like, cursing isn't as funny. So, like, coming up with a different terminology no, for something is hilarious. So, like, Dick Rider. Like, okay, we've, we've heard that for mm -hmm. forever, right? Yep. Meat Rider so funny hilarious like, like reading that when matt barnes commented that <laughs> oh my god for, for context for that one there was a post about i don't even remember yeah remember. what was that even about i think it was about i want to i don't remember i'm not and i'm not gonna lie about it but matt barnes commented oh, fuck it. <laughs> and said something and then another guy commented back to matt barnes and then matt barnes just went and you a meat writer this man is an espn analyst and he called incredible. somebody a meat writer on Instagram. incredible and i think that is yeah that's incredible. He's going to get possibly fired, I think. But maybe not. Maybe nah. they just don't give a shit at ESPN. I don't, I don't think they'll fire him because it wasn't like an anti-gay comment. It was just a, like... But why couldn't are... it be kind of slander? Like, what, what's, so, wrong with, what's wrong with uh, what's wrong with being a meat writer? Hmm? It's just being a simp. He's basically trying to say he's being a right, simp. Right, right. So, like, if he would have said simp, is that okay to say? But meat writer's not. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's basically the exact same thing. That's fair. Uh, so I don't think he's actually going to get in trouble for it. Like, if he was like, yo, dog, you're an FF for loving men like this, then that's a problem. <laughs> that's you, a big issue. Can you say, can you, can you even abbreviate that on the air? I did. You did. That's true. You didn't say it. I didn't say anything. Yeah. The internet might not even know what that is. That's true. No, the internet knows. Uh, <laughs> the internet always knows. Yeah. So he could have said that instead. Like, I'm not going to repeat what that would be, but. Could have said that instead. For the audience back home. Yeah, for the audience back <laughs> home. Uh, it actually means, nope. Have you seen the, the, you saw the clip that I sent you where it was like, would you rather be, would you rather watch a tree go, tree grow? Nope. And then nope. it stops. Yeah, He's yeah, the old yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's oh, like, yeah, who? It, and it was at like the bottom. Yeah. yeah it was yeah. like a comment on his IG live. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've seen that one been uh, going around the internet lately. Oh, speaking of like people getting just brutally assaulted on the internet. Have you, you do you know who Aiden Ross is? Oh my God! I, I heard you know what I'm talking this. about, right? I heard about this dude. Where? So what does he do? Like he he's apparently like friends with Andrew Tate or something, or like. Oh, well, this really has nothing to do him. with Andrew Tate. No, I know it doesn't. I don't know. He's just like a he's just a streamer. He's just he's just like us. He's just commenting on society. Just random shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, where his like live like his chat sent him a link to something, and then it went directly to his sister's nudes. Yeah. It was even but worse then people than were that. commenting. They're like, "Why'd you stare so long?" Yet yeah, he like, he like paused it, yeah. and then s kept it on there for a second. I know nothing about this guy, so I'm not gonna like. I have, I don't talk know shit him. really. I don't know him at all. I, you know, but I don't know anything. It about was him. so. Dude, that's foul. that is foul, dude. Dude, what would you do realistically if that happened to us? Like, let's say, let's say we're streamers, okay, and we're like technically we are. Yeah, I mean, we're podcasters, but yeah, we could stream video games, let's yeah. say. Well, I plan to do that, so. Well, yeah, we but yeah, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, let's say we're in the middle of, like, streaming, and, like, we're talking to our chat or whatever, and somebody's like, yo, open this link. One, I'm probably not opening the link while I'm playing. Mm -hmm. uh, but two, like, imagine somebody tweeted at you, and it's, like, a picture of, you, like, your sister's nudes. What would you do realistically? Um... Like, would you go ape shit on the stream, or would you like? Well, I, I think in the moment I would be very upset. I would try and get whoever commented that banned, or yeah, sent but that I'd in. Yeah, I feel like that's. But so then I would, I would simply, little. you know, you know the dude. I try and get him charged. You know the box card. I, I, I try and get him for that like revenge. Part. Yeah, but like you know the box card derby episode of, of South, South Park, Park yeah, where yeah, yeah. they create particle acceleration. Yeah, and the one kid is really he goes to comment to comfort his dad and the dad just blows his brains out yeah that's what i would do jesus. i would you just see like my silhouette and then you just hear like a like a gunshot jesus dude i, I don't think i could live with my life or live with myself after i haven't lifetime. seen that yeah it's that 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 isn't that a crime in some way like yeah 100 percent it is it's gotta be so what i would do if and, and this is for the clip basically uh if i were in aiden ross's position and I just saw it was even worse than like just nudes. It was it was sex. Um, if I were in that position, uh, I would go uh full John Wick. Probably more than likely. You think so? Uh, it would be very bad for that person. Um, I would like diabetic John Wick. 
you said not, diabetic job. Yeah, not, not really. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Not really. Like, you, we talked about you don't run. Oh, no. So, like, you're, you're just, like, out of breath like, no, I, with I would, two would, hand guns. You're like, come over here. <laughs> I, would, I would pull a Cartman and I'd get a, a mobility scooter. <laughs> I'd be I'd be the John Wick of mobility. Scooters. We've been watching a lot of South Park. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I would. It would be bad for that person because I would. John like, Wick, but legally, yes, legal. legal like I would get their for IP legal purposes. Address, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd get their IP address. I'd get their. Address. I'd have a team of lawyers. <laughs> yeah, I. I'd, <laughs> I'd have a team of lawyers. Uh, but it wouldn't just be lawyers. I would. I would send PIs. Things in the mail. PIs. That's. What I want to do in my next life is be a private investigator. Dude, that would be sick. Bro. Yeah, but anyway, that'd be such a cool job. No, let's talk about that. I think you could do that. I think we, I could do that probably now. I could just like claim to be a private investigator. Yeah, but you know what I hate though is all those people on the internet that are like, uh, they call themselves internet sleuths. Oh, like the people that are like trying to solve murders. Yeah, like, like what was that one case that it was that one chick that uh like got lost while they were oh um. What was her name? Why am I Gabby Petito? Yes, and then what was her boyfriend's name? Who ended up being the guy that actually did it? I think it was like Brian or something. Brian Laundry. His name was like Laundry. Yeah, yeah. Because what happened was um, how they found out it was him, and that they were, he was where he said he was. Yeah, it had nothing to do with. Was the this random dash cam footage yes. from someone else who just happened to catch a glimpse of the van? Yep. Of it, the of their van. It was just a random person. But but that's like that is credible i feel like but then you have just the people who are like trying to like figure out john bonnet ramsey's case and it's like yeah. dude you weren't even around like i have i can't i can't even rightfully say what happened because i was three years old when this shit happened well not even, not that, even. maybe but... it was a year is it 1996 yeah i think so something like that i was a wee lad <laughs> <laughs> i was pissing in my diapers <laughs> i was just a wee lad when <laughs> when john bonnet ramsey went down <laughs> she went down she went down it's just wee lad what the hell? I'm the Irish. It was during the Great Potato Famine. Oh my God! How dare you? My people suffered. suffered. Yeah, so did mine. Whenever they were slaughtered by the whites. Here comes one eighty fourth Cherokee Indian Cam. One sixteenth Lakota Sioux. Okay. Lakota one sixteenth. For my people. Will you just <laughs> for the uh, the big chief in the sky, top chief. That's cultural appropriation. How fucking dare you? No, it's not. <laughs> Indians have chiefs. I pull up my peace pipe. Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to call them Indians, actually. No, you... Mm. Right? You can say Indians, right? Native Americans? No, it's Native Americans. Indians, right? I don't think you can say Washington. No, 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 no. I'm saying that they're... Because Indians are people in the Middle East. Joe's confirming our Middle East correspondent. Uh, Isn't that why... What? <laughs> Huh? The lover boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah. that why we call them Indians is because we thought we were landing in India? Yeah, that's 100%, that's 100%. why. Right, Joe? That, like, because Christopher Columbus was dumb as shit and he thought he was in India? No. That was for the time, shit. probably not. No, I probably would have died of gangrene now, on the boat. Now though. I would have a pretty good difference of looking at an Indian guy and a Native American. Yeah. I said gangrene is how I would die on the boat, but it was scurvy. I'd die yeah, of scurvy. Yeah, it was definitely scurvy. Definitely. What's, how do you get gangrene, first off? Isn't that like when you're like, it's like well, no, I know water. what it is. It's like with what, it's, water. It's like when you're. That's Yo, why. That's do you why, remember the World War One? Like, have you seen the pictures of people that were in like the what were they called? Uh, that's fox, why socks were like the biggest fox deal. holes. Yeah. Uh, the, or whatever. Glory holes. The, glo- the old glory holes. The old no, glory the, the holes in World War One. Trenches, yeah. The Trenches. trenches. But what are they called? Fox holes, I think. Right. Butthole. I, I should know this, but actually, you should know this. You claim to be the the history guy. I'm, I'm almost positive it's a fox hole, right, Joe? Yep. See. Joe's Joe's like World War One Joe, correspondent. This Joe. is the Joe Rogan podcast, and Joe is our Jamie. Yeah, Joe's our Jamie. Uh, Google Wait, that, Joe. That's honestly. Great. Oh my God, Joe! Do you want to know? Do you want a new role? <laughs> <laughs> Joe might be the Google guy. Joe's gonna sit over here now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of fire. Google that shit, Joe. Yeah. Um, hey, Joe, show me this guy's balls. <laughs> <laughs> enhance, enhance, <laughs> enhance. We need to put a green uh, screen right here, so then anything Joe searches, it just pops up on. The but back. then we just see nothing but like gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> just two dudes like the memes on uh instagram that you see all the time it's like somebody cooking food or whatever like two, guys, two kissing. guys kissing it's just like why is there bestiality up behind us wait have you seen the ones where it's the uh the guy who's like sucking down like this huge fruit or whatever it was just like this chinese guy <laughs> no. it was incredible <laughs> 
No, but it was it was like a cooking video, and then I don't know where it's just like. I'm sorry. That, that reminds me of Milf Manor, which well, we haven't talked about in a while. No, we haven't actually. The show ended. Oh, it did. Yeah. It's done. Done. It uh, it ended. It did. It didn't end the way people thought it would. I think. I wait. Like basically, are they like it down too. I don't know about that, but basically, like everyone's like, I guess everyone's initial thoughts were that these people were gonna like couple up for sure. But at the end, they're like, do we continue as a couple or do we not? Like that's the decision that gets to be made. So a lot of them chose not to continue to be couples because the big controversy was there we're was a kind of sex. there was a twenty year old boy yeah with, with a sixty year old woman yeah that's rough dude um but one of the one of the challenges they had to do was they had to it was like a it was sex based so they had all these fruits and like oh, things out God. and they asked the guys like where is the you know the clitoris did they know some of them did not know most of them wow. did not know wow. But then one guy. Yeah, it's like up here. One right? guy demonstrated. <laughs> yeah, it's like behind the ear, I think. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's why girls like when you like when you breathe on the ear. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent, right? One of the guys, his name was also Ryan, and uh, also Ryan. Well, <laughs> there, there were no, no, sorry, there were. You're saying that like your name's Ryan? No, there were there were two. His name was also Ryan. There were just two, like me. There were two Ryans on the show, so he was Ryan too. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, he started performing cunnilingus. On a like a guava, I thought you meant like on the show. Nope, just they were like, what if you were like, what is the best part of foreplay? And he was like, I'm just gonna lean right into this. This guy's been on the show for 24 hours. He was one of the new contestants, (laughs) and he just immediately started going to town on this on this papaya. And it was um, were you bricked? No, it was very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the whole show got really uncomfortable. Yeah. Was she uncomfortable? Yeah. yeah, yeah there yeah. were a couple times where I was like, I think this might be the end. But it's like watching a train track, a train track, a train crash. <laughs> you ever yeah. just go down by the train tracks and you just watch the tracks? You just watch the tracks. <laughs> you just I don't watch the tracks. The train starts coming, I stop watching. Yeah, I'm but... like, ah, well, I, I'm not here for this. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, it was a show that will probably, hopefully, not be getting a season yeah, two. I, I hope it dies. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to sports. No, no. I wanted to talk about that guy that you showed me on Instagram. Um, oh, speaking of just disgusting. Oh foul wait, no, creatures. no, 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 no. Never mind. Not him. Uh, the other thing that you sent about the Dodgers. So yes, back to sports. That's what I was. That's what I was going. Okay, so I was going to reel it back to there. Yes. Um, because this is this is crazy. a hot. This is a hot debate right now that I think people are having on yeah. Reddit. Um, so a fan at Dodger Stadium on opening day, I believe, obviously had to be opening day. Came yeah, onto the yeah, field yeah. illegally and was proposing to his came, girlfriend. Came on the field. Came on the field. He just came yeah. everywhere. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. That. And people are like, oh, he's oh, oh, not a free country anymore. Man, just he can't come on the field. He just blew his load and left. It was wild. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he, walk. he hopped down onto the field and, you know, got down on one knee. Kaepernick. He was, he was Kaepernicking. Uh, Kaepernick? Colin Kaepernick? Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Kaepernick? Kaepernick. Kaepernick? Kaepernick. What's the difference? Kaepernick, Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Keep going. Keep going with your story. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he kneels on the field to propose to his girlfriend. Dude is mad defenseless, not running from security. Security runs out. Wait, how was he proposing? She wasn't out there. No, but she was in the stand, and he was like, do you want to marry me? And she's, you know, 50 feet away from him. Yeah. And security runs out, trucks this dude. Like, the biggest blindside tackle I've ever seen in my life. Couldn't have Damn. been more defenseless. Damn. He, no, my God, that's a terrible joke. I'm not going to say it. I'll, say, I'll tell you it later. Whisper it? No, whisper it. Yeah, wh- no, whisper it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I really hope the mic didn't pick that yeah, one up. Me too. Anyway. Uh, but in- <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> but anyway, the guy suffered a concussion. And several broken ribs. Some people on Reddit think this is deserved. Some mm. people, myself included, do not think it was deserved. Do I agree that he entered the stadium and the field, the stadium, the field illegally? Yeah, of course. Yes. Do I think he deserved? There's punishment? no defending that. Yes. Yeah, of course. Does he deserve to be trucked at 15 miles an hour no, by dude. a bully security guard who peaked in high school? <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, I totally agree. It's a, he wanted to feel powerful because he's like. The, the this security is my guard, chance. Security guard, probably brand new hire, was like, yeah. oh, I'm just waiting for a chance to freaking hit somebody. Beat the shit I'm, out of him. He's again. all jacked up on monster energy and fucking Cinnabons. 
probably just got done with a big chaw on his lip. Yeah, literally. And he's probably like, kissed I'm his sister tackle this before guy. he tackled this kissed guy. Kissed his sister for sure. Yeah, 100%. married to her actually. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's They're on Dod- the third. Kid. It's Dodger Stadium, but that guy was definitely probably a little oh. incestual. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're making a lot. I don't. Of I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Who, I, I don't know what you team. Know what? It would we're make sense. A, we're making a lot of assumptions, but fuck that guy. It make more sense like if the team they were playing was like the Atlanta Braves or yeah, something, it and it's is. like, oh well, yeah. uh, oh, wow. Georgia. So, yeah. but you know, I don't know. So people are gonna roast us in the comments for that because it was a fucking joke, but whatever. <laughs> They're playing the Alabama dog fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Imagine that was a baseball. Uh, game. I don't think that would make it past the uh, the players, you know, vote. Players like, union. Players union. Yeah, they're like, yeah. don't they have to like vote that in? Because I was wondering how you start a team. I have no idea. Because I would love to, like, obviously, like, like one of the whitest pipe dreams I've ever had is just like owning, owning a sports team. owning a sports team, but Not, like, like making owning, your own. Yeah, like bringing back the Seattle SuperSonics. That would be would sick. be so sick. Yeah. Like if 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 tomorrow for some reason. I came into a plethora of money to mm. allow myself to do that or like crowdsource extra funds to start an NBA team or bring one back. Yeah. I would, would bring go back with the, the Supersonics. Supersonics. Um, huh. But I don't know how that works. Like, nah, I would bring a team to Pittsburgh. Well, that's because you're, that you're a Pittsburgh boy. Yeah, but Pittsburgh never had one and they're the city of champions, basically. We've had, no, genuinely, our hockey team is ridiculous, always has been. What about Boston? What about them? You got the Red Sox, the uh, the hockey team, which I'm spacing on Bruins. right now, Bruins, and then you have the Patriots, bro. That's three of the Celtics. Am I stupid? Yeah. No, four of the biggest yeah. sports franchises. They're pretty... That's the winningest city, in my opinion. Well, New York, maybe too. No, because the Knicks and Nets aren't good. So really, just the Yankees and the Mets. And like all the all, I mean, you have like the Lakers and the Dodgers, but they don't have like hockey the way that like yeah. the Boston kills it. I don't like I don't, to say I, that. I actually don't, I don't like know to say how many that. championships like the Bruins have. They won a couple, the right? Pirates. They won some recent, Pirates not had recently. Pirates a but... bunch of different World Series before. They've just been dog shit for the past I guess you have the Steelers, too. But who do they have? The Penguins? Mm-hmm. The Pittsburgh Penguins? Yeah. I think they have five or six championships. My, uh, my fantasy sports team. And then the Steelers team, have six. Yeah. My fantasy sports team for like when I was in high school, someone did like the Frisco 69ers, and I was the Pittsburgh Feelers. <laughs> that's so good i love that or maybe um, somebody else was the Pittsburgh feelers and i was the frisco 69ers I don't either remember. way either way incredible um but yeah i think that this guy definitely was like yeah you shouldn't be on the field he's you in the wrong get, you should get punished for sure uh tackling him to the point that he breaks ribs like no that's and a little, gets a concussion a it's an excessive much, display of force like yeah you could have been <laughs> like hey much like you could have hit him with like the freeze lay yo, down yo there was can, none of that can he sue the dodgers now yes uh i don't know if he can sue the dodgers but i'm pretty sure he can sue the no some i people th- were saying I bet, it was I bet like he a, sue the dodgers. some people on reddit were saying they, it was like they, a civil suit like a civil liability suit or something like that i don't know anything about law uh enforcement or like what the processes are for how to sue another individual Dude, who might I be protected by like the dodgers because they employ that man yeah and he or was acting it, under their authority. But do you think they third party like source if security? If they were smart, maybe. But I either way, somebody's are. getting sued. Like, doesn't Magic Johnson partially own the Dodgers? Or does he? It wouldn't surprise me. But I'm I don't almost know. positive. I think, he, I think he does. Or maybe he relinquished his. State. Yeah, Magic Magic Johnson does. No, I said Magic. Magic. You say does. Randy Johnson? Yeah, yeah. Randy Johnson owns the Dodgers. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yep. Randy no, Johnson. Magic, Magic Good old seven foot tall Dodgers. Randy Johnson. Is he really that tall? He's not seven foot, but he's tall. Damn fire um i wanted to talk about one more thing um not the the other guy yeah. i think I, all i say all i'll say about the yeah, guy getting ahead. tackled is go that ahead. it was an unnecessary display of force i think he totally was in the agree. wrong i agree with that i think totally agree. there's a gray area where because someone else commented you know americans are just frothing at the mouth for violence yeah it's always true. Yeah, but not everything has to be handled like that, you know. No, no, definitely not. And he wasn't running around naked and stuff like on the field. Yeah, he's not like causing a huge he's distraction. Not like jerking it he just like, like hopped down and was like proposing to his game. girlfriend. Yeah, he's not jacking it in San Diego. No, yeah, you know, jagging it, jagging it, jaggedy jack. Yeah, he's not jagging off. Yeah, jag off. You jag off. Jag off. Um, so I usually like near the end of the episodes to uh. Kind of do the fuck Mary Kill thing. Yeah. I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, good. 
I did want to bring about a little bit of debate, a little okay. friendly debate about different things, because it doesn't okay. have to be fuck, marry, kill every time. But I do yeah, like. Yeah, I don't think we should. I do like when we start to debate things. So. I told you about how I was on the uh, debate team back in Canada, right? <laughs> the master debaters. The, the, no, the mass debaters. I know that's not real. Yeah, you know. No, it's not. It was it real. Yeah. No, you no. No, it wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good try. Good. Try. I was on the fishing team in high school. The master baiters. <sighs> Damn, he got me twice there, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Stolen jokes, I'm sure. Jesus. All right. So, what we're going to debate about, I think, is something that I actually don't know what you think about this. Um, what scared. is better? Okay. I like talking about food a lot. If you had to choose... For the rest of your life to only eat one like denomination of food like ethnically yeah okay you only have two choices and i'm not going to give you italian because that would be easy okay okay we're gonna go with i'm gonna give you potentially the shittiest ones that i can think of okay, okay. british food <laughs> <laughs> actually no that that one's too much of a layup. oh we beans and british. beans and toast we all hate british food okay so, <laughs> <laughs> you have a vendetta against british always people. baby always i hope i hope this podcast gets big enough someday that like people in britain are like boycotting our podcast i want that i, I want, want them, no i, I want, want you to come for me i want them to like me though well, because i'm an weird. ally that was a little weird I, what I, just said. I want you to sploosh for me i want you to come for me Come on. No. No, 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 no. Um, so, actually, I, I would love your take. What do you think is the two shittiest, like, what are two, I don't want to say ethnic foods, because <laughs> what what we're, we're, we're going what, on a very dangerous path. What are two countries that you don't really like their food that much? I haven't like personally had Russian food, but I've seen the videos of just guys eating sausage and drinking vodka. Oh, you know what? That's so I a imagine good they one. probably don't have like, you know. Yeah, that's a good I don't one. Know. I w- <laughs> have you seen that guy on TikTok? He's, he just plays the same song, but it's just him like, you know, pulling straight from the handle with vodka, and then he'll like cut off a piece of cheese and sausage, and just like that's his no. meal. It's very primal. That's I just love his whole it, TikTok, basically. That's incredible. Um, Russia's a good one. Okay. I don't know who else has like I I love Mediterranean food. I do. Too. I don't think you're gonna hit a miss there. Not Italian, fast. Greek, like all that shit all is so that shit, dude. fresh and dude, green give me, and give me that hummus. Herbalicious. Yeah. Give me that hummus. Give me the pitas. Mm-hmm. Give me all that shit. Spain has great food, so I'm not gonna knock them. Maybe Norway. Norway Finland? probably has some disgusting food. It's like real fishy. I yeah. feel like. Yeah. Uh, I would say. Oh, what about like Iceland? Do they even eat there? Do they have people? <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, man. No, 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 you, no. Well, Iceland is like the really beautiful one. Yeah, Greenland yeah. Is Iceland, one. yeah. Because they were fooling um, them, the Vikings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that. I want to. Iceland's like top of my bucket list to travel to. I feel like Canada probably sucks. <sighs> All they no, man, they got poutine. Maddie Matheson. Yeah, but they got poutine. Yeah, but Maddie Matheson is one guy. That's not Canadian culture. No, but like I think, I think they probably have good food. Because we compared, know Mexican food slaps. Compared to yeah. The, the, All South well, why would you even mention that? Of slaps. course, yeah. So like we gotta, we gotta uh, pick something here. I don't know. No one's, no one's ever talked about like the food in Guatemala. You know, I've never heard someone be like, "Yeah, I went to Guatemala." Has no, great, I've actually great cuisine. Of, no, yeah, I've never heard of that. Obviously, but I'm, I'm not gonna to knock Cubans because Cuban sandwiches, mm. fire. Mm. Dude, Cuban food, um, Dominican food, great. Yeah, let's stick with Jamaican. Jamaican jerk, dude. Jamaican jerk. These nuts. No, like what? no contest. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we we, we all heard that. Um, I don't know, man. Mm. I got two for you. You got to pick between them. All right, all right. Russia, Australia. The fuck do they eat in Australia? Vegemite. Yeah, and that's that just shit, nasty. That shit is some of the nastiest shit ever, dude. I feel like Australian food. And this is just my interpretation. Seems very like westernized. 
I don't even like, know what I, they eat. Probably I just like no what idea we eat. what they eat. Fish and chips and like, but like elevated a little bit. I've seen like Australian chefs. They seem to like. Yeah, but fish and chip. Fish and chips. Ah, uh, fish and shit. Yes, my favorite. <laughs> fish and shit. Dude. My favorite meal. I mean, that's basically what I think it is. Yeah. Like, fish and chips. Like, okay, cool. They basically have British food in Australia. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not cool. But they probably. I feel like. I feel like because it's more tropical there, not tropical, but like beachy, minus the outback. I yeah, imagine yeah, the outback like the has desert. like, what are you eating, kangaroo? Yeah, like, are you eating tarantula? <laughs> You're eating kangaroo jack, bro? Yeah, dude. That great movie, by great the way. Great movie. Um, Can you believe that kid used to be fat? Oh, yeah. Not Anthony Anderson. I love Anthony the other Anderson. Guy. Dude has had such a long career, and he's like For Keenan, sure. Keenan Thompson. Has he, not aged a day. Not only that, he's just gotten better. He has, the, he has his own better. show, dude. Literally. Like, blackish? Literally. Like, come on, dude. Uh, and then, meanwhile, back when he was, like, in Transformers, that was crazy, too. Yo, the OG Transformers yeah. by Michael Bay, that was a great one with Shia LaBeouf. That was great. Love that. Mainly um, because of Megan Fox, but, like... But we can agree that British food is probably the worst <laughs> then, right? Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I'd pick. Like, I... I would rather eat a piece of sausage and cheese than beans and toast any day. Though, any day. No matter how primal Dude, They have, like, blood you could sausage, you could, too. You they got blood pudding in Britain. Like, why? You hand, just, like, here's a raw egg. Like, not a raw egg, but, like, here's an egg. Yeah. Here's a hard-boiled egg. I oh, like, yeah. I have, like hard-boiled eggs, but, like. Yeah, they have them in that weird, like, that, that container thing where, yeah. like, it's just like this, and then you, like, tap the top or whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever, and, um, like, do you, so, is it cooked in there? Wait, do that one more time. Is it is it cooked is it, in is there? It like cooked, is it cooked? Is in it there? cooked in there? Like is they put they put the egg in here, and then they like tap the top or whatever. Is it supposed to be cooked in the inside? Like is so. it like a hard boiled egg or what is it? Probably. You know? Oh, I don't know shit. <laughs> I just realized. Wait, here you go. British food or North Korean food? <laughs> they don't eat in North Korea. Yeah, like Kim Jong Un. They're eating. They're them. eating like the space rations. Like, like oh like, my uh, god. What is that freeze dried food or like like? Whatever that is. Oh yeah, where it's dehydrated. Like, where food? it's like you put the water in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're eating MREs. God. Yeah, we're definitely doing that for a Patreon episode. By the way, I have MREs. Didn't we eat some of those the other day? Uh, like we had ago? them, not for the show though. Right. We had like two bites of one of them, but I want us to like have a spiel. Like I want the whole like yeah. we go about them and like rate them. Okay. Uh, we're definitely gonna get massive diarrhea after it, but it's worth it for the show, man. Yeah, pretty much everything gives me diarrhea, so. Yeah, I mean, I. Not really. Not really. Well, me, yeah. That's, that's fair. Can, I, maybe we should end on this, but, like, can you believe that I've had the bidet installed at our place for, I don't know, since we moved in after a week? So, uh, at Six least months? four months now, five months. Four months. Uh, Alexa has not used it once. What is she afraid of? I don't know. Is she afraid she's I don't really going to like I it? I literally, like, stopped dead in my tracks and was like... Did she, like, tell you this the other day? Yeah. We were talking about it, and I was like, I can't live Dude, without it. I want to say something so bad, but I don't want to offend. She's just going to walk around with a dirty hole, bro? Oh, my God. No, man, it's clean. Dude, no. 100%. In the shower. Well, yeah, that. I don't, I don't know. Dude, you can't. There's no way you can get all of well, that, the poo. Okay, well, we were talking about. It. She's hole. like, she's like, I just, it's just, it's just such a dirty, it's so dirty to do it in there. I'm like, no, it's the cleanest thing. It's you literally, can, the it's cleanest. the cleanest thing you can do for your body. It is. Well, no, it is. It is for your body. Uh, you're emitting waste, and then you're cleaning. Yeah, I mean that's a fair. You're point. cleaning that's the tract. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'm trying to keep that's this fair. as PG as possible, but like, it's Pretty the cleanest PG. thing you can do while yeah. you're in the bathroom. In no skitty witties. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, if you got stuff, you know, maybe like, That's you like a little, maybe you got a little constipation. Yeah. Oh yeah. For I've done that, dude. I've for sure done that. Have you? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Um, I always get scared when I go places, like, and I have to poop when I'm out, like, because I yeah. don't have my bidet at home. Like yeah. I, like I have the bidet at home, but like I'm like, you're at like a ballpark or something. And you got to take a shit. That's the grossest place. That's you not. Do it. Listen, I'll hold it. If, if like it's one thing to go. No, but what if it's like a danger zone? No, shit? it's. I don't have. I, I, you, I, I've never been in that position. You've never been in a position where you're like, if I don't go right now, I'm gonna make a mess in these pants. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I've never been at like a baseball stadium or like somewhere like that where that's happened. It's usually in a controlled like in a environment. restaurant. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where I feel more comfortable using the bathroom. Whereas, yeah, like, that's fair. I'm not going to go to the bathroom number two 
at a baseball stadium because most of the time, A, the stalls are disgusting. Yeah. But I'm very uncomfortable with the trough system. Oh, yeah, the trough is gross, but taking a shit in a baseball stadium is basically how you get, like, tetanus. I'm almost Yeah, you have to be on your absolute You get tetanus bed. in your butthole. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that there's behold, rust on a toilet. Behold but tetanus. That's how you get tetanus, right? Is it just rust? If you ate, like, a cut, I think, yeah. What the fuck is tetanus? I don't know. I'm done. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Let's just get I'm, out I'm of here. I've been dumb enough. <laughs> Let's end it up. Let's, we'll, we'll, we'll answer this question next week. What is tetanus? What's tetanus? I, I don't know. This would be great what to What is have. that mandatory shot that we're forced to get before we enter high school? Oh, my God. Yeah, why is everybody so worried about... All right, I'm done. You're done. <laughs> anyway, You're done. Uh, go ahead and check out... In the the Patriarchy below. Podcast. <laughs> nope. The Lover Boys Podcast. <laughs> uh, check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Patreon. It's all the Lover Boys Pod. Zach's on Grinder. Uh, Cam is on OnlyFans and tons of b-hole picks. Go get them. Go get them yeah, while they're not hot. Not my b-hole, but somebody's. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, Wait, go ahead you, and check us out. You like my? Uh, yeah, I know. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob me. Go ahead and check us out. Um, we're gonna be uh posting more things on Patreon soon. Uh, we do the week at, the episode ahead is for every Patreon member. We got a five dollar, ten dollar, and fifteen dollar tier. Uh, five dollar, you get the episode ahead week of time, week week ahead of time. Uh, ten dollar tier, we actually do bonus episodes. So there's already an episode up there right now that nobody else can see other than our patrons that are in the ten dollar tier. That one's a lot more edgy, I'll be honest. And if if you like this content, you know, like and subscribe. Wow, that was the most typical YouTuber thing ever. I actually want to go. Yeah, uh, that's how right we have now. to end it. Yeah. Anyway, check us out on all those platforms. Love you.